guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a Dollar Tree haul I want to share with you guys and then at the end I wanted to do the Dollar Tree attic tag. I saw that floating around and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do and one of the questions I want to ask to all of you guys as well, I would love for you guys to answer it so make sure you stay tuned for that at the end. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe and don't forget to hit that dang notification bell because that's how you get notified every time. Just because you're subscribed doesn't mean you get notified. So if you wanna know every time I post a video, definitely hit that bell. I just think this is such a pretty print and I definitely am on the hunt for the place. I saw them at one point and I didn't get them and I regret it so bad. So definitely on the hunt for them now. I also got this little dish towel thing. You guys know, if you've watched my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of the quality of these, but just as a little bit of decoration in the kitchen or to wipe your hands off, I think they're fine and you know, I love the print of it. So I'm glad to have gotten it. I should have gotten one more, but I'll add that to the list when I'm on the hunt for the plates. Next thing I got are some napkins. I got two packs of them. I got this print. I thought these napkins were pretty and I think they had a similar like plates and stuff like that to these napkins. I was looking for napkins that match the tablecloth that I got and the plates that I want to get, but I didn't see any of those. Let me know in the comments below, have you guys seen the napkins that match that or do they not have them? Because I haven't seen them at all. I really haven't seen much for summer napkins and summer paper plates and stuff, which I kind of wish they would. I saw paper plates that I saw last year that have like the hot dogs on them and like the beach ball and stuff like that, but I haven't seen any of the floral in a paper plate yet at any of mine. I do like this print though, and I kind of thought about doing this print um, for my summer tablescape too. Um, I'm not sure, I, I, I really like both of them, so I don't know. I like them both. <laughs> the next thing I picked up is this bag. I love the design and print and everything about this bag so much. And I even don't mind the size of it. It's a lot smaller than some of their bags. This is another Dollar Tree bag and I love this bag. And it's the quality of it, like it's not flimsy at all. The, the quality of this is definitely much more flimsy and very thin and you can kind of see through it and let me see. There's already some like little holes and stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Where's the hole at? There's a little hole right there. It's just not the best quality. There's a couple holes on this side too. I just liked the print so much. I didn't mind because it'll just be fine for, you know, to throw a couple things in for summer. And I also have used it um, when I went to, ha I had to pick up a couple things instead of using a plastic bag. I just used this and it worked fine. So I do love the print of these. I would also love this as like, a towel or a plate or a coffee cup or something. The next thing that I picked up is this hacksaw. And it looks like this. I have no idea if this is going to work well or not. The reason that I got this is because I need to saw in half some of those little Jenga blocks. I hauled them, God, it's been a while now, but I, I hauled them because I wanted to do a DIY that I saw and it, we made it into like a little tray and I tried doing the whole DIY, but I couldn't find the exact mirror that she used and so it didn't fit perfectly. The pieces, the pieces needed to be cut in half and for the life of me, I could not get anything to cut that little piece of wood. I'm hoping that this will work to be able to cut the little piece of wood. Um, if any of you guys though have any recommendations of a way to cut that without I mean, I don't have like an electric saw. I tried like a big old knife. My husband tried something. It's like this little block and I can't get the dang thing cut. And I've looked at every Dollar Tree for like a month now for that exact mirror that she used and I cannot find it for the life of me. So I'm hoping this works so I can make that darn little tray. This isn't a very exciting little item that I got, but I will say the last time I hauled it, a lot of you guys said that you absolutely love these and I, Totally agree with you. These have been such a nice addition to my kitchen like drawer that I keep all this stuff in that makes it just so much easier. You just grab the little sheet out. You don't have to rip anything. I don't know. I mean, you can call it laziness, whatever. I love these and I will definitely continue purchasing them. I think they have another brand at Dollar Tree 2 that's not Reynolds. Um, I forget what brand it was though. I'm not sure if those work as well. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried that brand, if it works just as well as this one. It is a little thin, like definitely a little thin, but 
it works for the most part. So I am very happy. That was a long explanation of something that doesn't need a long explanation, but they're good. It's good. I only have a couple more things. That it's not a huge haul. I couldn't find that much stuff at this Dollar Tree that I went to actually, which is sucks. I hate when that happens. And I haven't had a chance to go to another one, so I will be heading to another one very soon. And hopefully I'll have more goodies that I find. But I did get this bath mat thing. I don't know how well it'll work. It has like little suctions on the bottom. I just wanted a plain bath mat for my daughter's bathtub. She has started taking showers here and there and then my nephews come over and they'll take showers in there and it gets slippery. I've taken a shower in there and I've slipped before. So I wanted to get one of these to see if this helps. If not, I'll spend a little bit more money obviously and get one that works, but I figure try out the dollar one first, see if that works and then we'll go from there. So hopefully this works pretty well. And I like that it's clear and just like, it looks nice, you know? The next thing that I got is this little phone case that I got for my daughter. Her favorite color is purple. And I saw it, I was like, she's gonna love this because she loves these little sequins that you can like lift up and down. I can't do it because the case is in the way, but you know, they slide up and I think it's silver. Come on, yeah, yeah. It's silver when you slide it up. They had it in other colors as well. I don't know how great of a phone case it'll actually be, but my daughter doesn't take her phone with her very often. We have, she has a phone number for when she goes and spends the night at friends' house and stuff like that, so she can call us if she needs to and we can get a hold of her if we need to, but she like never even takes her phone anywhere, which is fine, she's seven, so she doesn't need to take her phone everywhere, but I thought she would enjoy having this on her phone because it will be cute and pretty. Okay, the last two things I got are these. I have wanted to get these for so long and I always um, just didn't get them for some reason. And I really don't have a use for them other than it feel like if you're having breakfast on like a Sunday morning or something, it looks so chic <laughs> to be able to pour like some orange juice in there. I feel like if you're having guests over and you're having like a brunch or maybe you're having a mimosa bar somewhere or something like that, these would be so cute and pretty and chic to like put different juices in. But I just got them because I want to have them on hand to feel fancy when we have breakfast at the house. And I'm sure at some point they will come in use and I will be able to use them for something else that's whatever. But I just love them, so I did get two of them. I started out with just one in my cart and I was like, gonna go ahead and grab one more. So I am happy to use these. That's it for everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree recently. I cannot wait to go find those dang plates. I'm gonna be on the hunt for those and I have got to find that door mat little thing that's floating around on Instagram. I've seen it and I think I saw it in my Facebook group and it says home and it has a heart in the middle. I need that in my life. I want it in my life so bad. So I'm hunting for that and there was a couple other things I've seen recently I'm like, why hasn't my Dollar Tree gotten that yet? I need my Dollar Tree to step it up. Since I haven't found those items yet, I figured I would do the Dollar Tree attic tag at the end of this since I saw this floating around. I saw It's a Deals um, channel. She did this tag and I was like, oh, that is a cool little tag. I'm gonna, you know, join in on this. I'm a little late to the game, but I'm still gonna do it anyways because you know I love Dollar Tree and I was like, this is kind of the perfect tag for me. So I want to share what this tag's questions were and what uh, my answers are for it. So I hope you guys enjoy this little addition to this Dollar Tree haul. But the first question was, how often do you go to Dollar Tree? I definitely go to Dollar Tree at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, and sometimes I go three times a week. Just depending on what I'm looking for and what's going on in my life. If I'm like have something I'm trying to decorate for or you know get together for I definitely go more than once a week um, so that's that the next question is what is your number one favorite item to purchase from Dollar Tree and I would have to say their seasonal decor gets me every time even in like the summer decor or spring decor we all know I love the holiday decor like I just love their seasonal stuff that they get in it gets me excited I love seeing what's new so definitely their seasonal decor However, I also love just like their paper plates and napkins. They always make me happy to see new designs, which they need to step it up right now at my Dollar Trees, but I do love getting those as well. The next question is, what day does your local Dollar Tree get inventory? I have pretty much asked all of my Dollar Trees what day they get inventory. Most of mine are Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they say that the best day to come is on Friday because they don't put it out the, the day that they get it at mine. So, 
I typically try and go on a Friday if I can, but sometimes my schedule doesn't allow it, so I go on different days, but I definitely ask all of them, like, what day do you uh, get your inventory? When do you get new stuff? I wish that I had like a hookup with a Dollar Tree worker that I could text and be like, hey, anything new today? Let me know, let me know. That would be amazing. The next question is, do you shop at Dollar Tree more than Walmart or Target? Yes, yes. That is for sure I do. I get in trouble if I go to Target or Walmart, like I, the you see the receipt and you're just like, geez Louise, and you don't even buy that much. It kills me. Although I, I still love going to both of those stores. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely go to Dollar Tree more because it doesn't make me feel as bad and I still find things that I get excited about. So definitely go to Dollar Tree more. The next question is, what's the longest you've gone without shopping at Dollar Tree? I would say, oh, it's only been like when I'm sick and I would say, I mean, maybe I've gone a whole week without shopping at Dollar Tree. I started shopping at Dollar Tree about 10 years ago and ever since then I've pretty much been dedicated to going there very regularly. Maybe a while ago I used to only go like once every other week, but I would say probably the longest I've ever gone is like, well in the past 10 years is probably two weeks at tops, but I really try not to let it go that long. The next question is, do you shop at more than one Dollar Tree? Oh yeah. I mean, I hit up, around me I have four that are within like a hmm, five to six mile radius of my house. So I hit up those, but those aren't my best Dollar Trees. So then I have other ones that I like to hit up at least once a month and see what they have. I mean, I go to a lot of dollar, different Dollar Trees, so yeah, there's not, I can't just stick with one. I feel like if you do only stick with one, I mean, if you only have one in your area, that's totally understandable, I get it, but if you have multiple ones and you're having trouble finding stuff that you see on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, you gotta go try more. I know it takes time, but think of it as an adventure, a scavenger hunt almost. Just make it exciting and go. I just can't stick with one Dollar Tree. I have to go to multiple ones. I'm like, well, this one was okay, but I bet you the next one will be better. Like, I just, it's it's crazy. I'm a little crazy. The next question is, do you wear makeup from Dollar Tree? Um, I've bought makeup from Dollar Tree. I don't think I use anything regularly that is from Dollar Tree. Uh, no, I mean, there's some things I don't think are too bad, but there's nothing that I use like on an everyday basis or a regular basis from Dollar Tree. It's not that I wouldn't, but I just haven't found anything that works well enough for me to want to use every day or all the time. But at first when I read the question, I thought it said, do you wear makeup to the Dollar Tree? And I'm gonna answer that and say, oh no. Pretty much I never wear makeup to the Dollar Tree, pretty much. I look like trash when I go to the Dollar Tree. I just don't, when I run errands, I don't care y'all. I go makeup free, sometimes I go braless, flip flops, I don't care. Ain't no shame in my game, I don't care, I don't care. I just like going and I don't feel like I need to get dressed up to go. Oh well. The next question is, do you have a favorite food item from Dollar Tree? I don't. Um, I really don't buy food from Dollar Tree that often. However, actually, I take that back. Before we go see movies, we always go to Dollar Tree and stock up on like little snacks. I like their mixed nuts that they have there and they have some with like a little bit of chocolate in it and things like that, so I like that. And then my husband and daughter go to town on like the candy and the chocolates and stuff. I think it's the perfect place to go before you go to a movie theater because Boy, sure beats the price. When I go to a movie theater and I haven't brought snacks and I look at the snacks, I'm like, you're charging that much and I could have got that at Dollar Tree? Oh, why didn't I go there first? So I think the Dollar Tree food, I mean, you can also find other food there too, but my main thing for there is the movie theater snacks that you get from Dollar Tree to take to the movie theater. Next question is, do you know the Dollar Tree employees by name? I don't, I don't know them. I go to so many different ones all the time that there are certain people that I see that they, they're they there when I'm there and they I think they kind of recognize me and stuff, but I've never gotten to the point where like, we're on a friendly name basis and like I talk to them and stuff like that. But again, I kind of wish that I did because then I could like maybe become friends with them and be like, what's new at Dollar Tree? Anything new today? Let me know. 
Maybe I should do that. I need a, I need a Dollar Tree employee friend in my area. Stop. The last question is, if you had $10 to spend at Dollar Tree, what would you buy? That's, I, I'm, right now, if I had $10 and I could buy anything, I would buy those plates that I want. The plastic plates that have the palm fronds, things, palm leaves on it. That's what I would buy right now because that is on my wish list and I want the whole set of them. I'll probably get at least eight. I wouldn't mind having 10. So that is what I would put my $10 towards. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul and little tag. Let me know, A, what was your favorite thing that I hauled? And I feel like I had another question in there that I asked y'all when I was showing the stuff. Now I can't remember. Let me know down below though if you remember and answer that question for me. I would love that. What was it? I don't even know. Since I did the Dollar Tree Attic tag, obviously I tag anyone that wants to make a video and do this tag. I think it's fun, but if you don't want to make a video, you don't have to. Just let me know. Do you guys know the day that your inventory gets shipped to your Dollar Tree? I'd be curious to know how many of you guys know that as well. Do you ask every time you go to a new Dollar Tree when they get the inventory? Let me know in the comments below. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.